Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this calligraphy lesson. And I've got a class in front of me as well, so I'm going to be talking to the class as well as the audience that's watching on YouTube. To do calligraphy, you need a chisel marker. Now this one, something like this, or something like this barrel marker right the point is the point is that the point has to be a ch chiseled point can you see that that's a chiseled point that's how it's got to be it's got to be squarish kind of a point can you see that and there we go there's another chiseled one that's how it's supposed to be and I'll show you a third example. Can you see that? That's quite worn actually. So it's got to be a chiseled point marker. Here's another. Now some markers that you get, permanent markers, they have a bullet tip bullet point you do not want a bullet point that's no good this is an example of a bullet tip you see that it's just oval it's just round you don't want that you want this all right and if you can't find them then you just go down to in england you go down to the pound shop and you can pick these up for a pound quite easily if you get dry um, markers, whiteboard markers. Like these, they're no good because those are bullet tip, the round tip. Can you see that? That's not focused too much, but you get the idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and that's quite worn as well. You want you don't want it round at the end. You want it chiseled like that. Ah, oh, that's a good picture. Chiseled. Okay. On the packet, it usually says chisel tip or bullet tip. So, if you've got a bullet tip, it'll just give you. A, lines like that this is a bullet tip so it'll just give you no know, standard lines like that when you use the chisel tip it'll give you that And so that's the first thing that you need is a chisel tip marker. You can pick them up very easily from Pound Shop. If you want to go a bit further, if you go onto Amazon and these Zig Calligraphy markers, Karitake, Karitake markers, all right? These pens, they're only about two or three quid. This one's no good for you because this is a 1.0, which is a very thin one, which I use for my fine write writing. Yeah. Can you see that? That's a very fine tip. Instead, you need, um, I think the other size is, it's got some fluff on there. <laughs> what you need is a... 2.0 marker instead of a 1.0 so zig calligraphy pen it's got some arabic writing on there as well karitake qalam khat arabi it says okay you can use that as well but make sure you get the right size anyway so i've got my class in front of me they've been doing calligraphy for some time so for them it's a bit of revision and for the newcomers 
it's new so here we go you get your marker which has got if you look at it like this the tip is like this and I'm holding it all right the tip is like this it's slanted can you see that that is slanted like that so you put that down on the paper and you go like that that's your lesson number one practice hold it at an angle don't hold it straight don't hold it like that holding it hold it hold the pen at an angle see that angle 45 degrees so when you put in the nib down it's like this and then just pulling down all right just practice doing that that's your lesson number one and when you get good at that let's change markers get me a better marker a bigger marker when you get good at that and you do lines and lines and lines of these And that's a very important part of Arabic calligraphy because you need nuktas, you need dots. So once you've done lines of these, it's better for you to work on lined paper initially. So you stay on the line. So for example, if I've got some lined paper here, if you get a book like this and then you put the pen, pen at an angle like this so that the diamond is like that it's hanging in the middle pretend that the line is like a thread that's holding all the beads together keep doing them until you're confident there you go that's a better marker so it gives a sharper line don't press down too much just keep going like that then you can bring them closer together and you can space them out as well and then if you're confident you can do them upper niche above and below each other like that and you can get quite a nice design like that okay so that's your lesson number one keep on practicing that the key to calligraphy is practice so keep practicing